Scotch Test Dummies with Scott and Bart. Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart here. This is what we call a blind box review. Blind for me. I got no idea what it is, but I got my eye of the tiger shirt on. Bart doesn't. I do. <laughs> We're going to test it. Mandalorian style, baby. Mandos in the house. is going to help out. I can't give it my style because it might give away what Ooh, like what the whiskey is. Yeah. So, and uh, Mando. We're both big Star Wars fans. Huge. I've seen the Black Series Mando. I never got one. So I, I used to collect Star Wars stuff. I got out of it, and I'm like, I, I was looking at the Mandos, and I was about ready to get one. And I was like, eh, I don't really need one. <laughs> Probably going to lead me down the path of starting to buy stuff right. again. Do you take them out of the box? No. See. I've got so, to take them out and play with Bar them. got his. I had to order one. I was like, I can't be outdone by Bar having that. Yeah. So I had to order one. I like but how you leave it in the box, though. I ordered a Boba Fett. I had to get a Boba Fett. Well, yeah, so I find the Mando, then I had to get a Boba Fett. And then well. I was like, nah, I want a Boba. Now I've been, there's these 12-inch Mandos coming out. They're expensive. Really? And I was like, I need to order one. And I'm like, there I go. There's the, the rabbit hole. Right. I was you already talking got about. the whiskey addiction. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They've got a 12-inch Mando coming? Yeah. It's like mine back there. I'll show you. I'll pull it up and show you later. It's nice. Do it's it. All kinds of articulations. Wow. It's a Chinese or a Japanese company that makes them. There you go. So, Bart doesn't have any idea what we got here. I got a little Pete. Slight, slight creosote. <sighs> nice oh, color this, on it. This harkens to something. And again, I've just got to be careful what I say here as not to give it away, not to give too many hints or clues. It's like an older, an older peat, the peat's subtler here. Now, see, you say, man, I get a blast of peat. Well, it's subtler, though. I mean, I get the peat, but it's not a blast for me. Uh -huh. So, now the problem is I don't seem to be able to pick them out anymore. Because I want to say it's like a like a art bag that's an older art bag is what I want to say, but then I'll pick up a little hint of citrus and it makes me think Lafroig and Lafroig's been doing great stuff lately. I'm just gonna go in for a little yeah, sip. You do I it. can't take. You do it. Uh, See, I love this. So actually, a little I'd say a little mint in there as well on the nose. Okay. What you're getting and a little mint. Little yeah, clove. Yeah. It's almost got like an effervescent freshness kind of to it, which is different. Um, if I had to guess, it would be um, a, an art bag. Uh, it's an Isla peat because of some of the creosote that I'm getting. And, uh, and a, a slight earthiness. And maybe a touch of clay. I'm, gonna look, I'm just looking up some details here because it's in the box and I don't remember some of the stuff, so I'm mm. going to try to look it up while. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. This is what I like. Wow, that is a higher, higher proof. Ooh, hold on. That might be a Lefroy. Man. I mean, I'll, I'll just tell you, it's harder for me. I know you're actually, you'll be like, nope, 100% hard bag, and you'll be right when you do it. So, yeah, no, I don't know if I ever call it 100%. Well, that's a good point. Mando, <laughs> Mando what do you think? Um, I think you drink it, you don't talk to it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. Just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. Mm -hmm. This is the way. Mm. And then the uh, that's an ug knot. The ug knot. Well, no, the ug knot says um, I have spoken. Mm. I have spoken. That's right. You're right. See, look, I now I have spoken. That's right. This is the way. That's Nick Nolte, that's the by the way. Yes, the voice. I know. He's doing a voice for. Her. Way to bring an ug knot in and make it make him awesome. I thought that was great. Actually, they did great. You know what I don't know anything about is drop troopers. I knew nothing. I'm like. 
I'm watching with the fam and Bo's like, what's a drop trooper? I'm like, assuming they're dropping out of ships. Because that's what she is, right? The, the mm -hmm. female, she's a yeah. drop trooper. Cara Dune. Yeah, and they've got her, they're tough. They're like the Marines or something? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Troopers? Mm -mm. All right. Um, I'll try a drop of water. Um, well, I guess I didn't do the flavor notes, though, did I? This doesn't have it. Well, not too much. You said you think it's an artifact. Yeah, I know. It's not I okay. Nice, Lefroy, nice peat, really earthy. Um, yeah. Nice sweetness, though, under underneath it as well. Peat being prominent, but nice. Yeah. Honeys, honeys and, and citrus kind of sweetness. Yeah. And a, uh, yeah, like a, like a creamy honeycomb with peaty kind of, oh, it's, it's creosooty hints of peat, but it's not over the top creosote. I'm not getting as many leathers that I would normally get from an Ardbeg, which is why I was thinking it was a Freud, and then I get these little hints of clay. Uh, 638, by the way. I don't know if we called out our no, coins. I did not, and I am 637. And I'm trying to look up just the ABV. It is higher. Feels like it. Mm -hmm. I can't find a web page that's given me that. Wow. We'll have to look here when we're done, as well as some other... Some medicinal notes as well. And then that, that, um, kind of that nugget, nougat, not nugget, some nougat with. You know what I got as soon as you said nougat? What? It's that, that, those old peanut butter cookies. Mm, nutter that butters. Were nutter butter. Well, nutter butter looked like a peanut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. By the way, uh, Vin over at No Nonsense Whiskey sent us his new coins. These are Ooh. yours, uh, ceramic coins. And then him and uh, Roy have also done these acrylic toppers. Well, that's cool. Look at that. So, and uh, Vin, recent father. Congratulations, Ooh, congratulations Vin. Congratulations, Vin. Good job. Nice so, coin. I like yeah. the red on the side. Whiskey tube. Very cool. It's got the hand because he's no nonsense. <laughs> Let's go with a drop of water. I've not added a drop of water yet. Maybe I'll two. take a drop, a single drop as well. Done. Yes, thank you. No nonsense whiskey. That's cool. I like. I it. was surprised Man, by like this whiskey. Acrylic one. Look at that. <laughs> Man, mm. got himself a little shield. <laughs> go, Mando. You're surprised by this whiskey. No, I, it, um, ooh, it's got a nice water really brought out a maltiness to it. Add another drop. You got a good pour there yet. Okay. Bring it, get a good drop of water there. really brought out the maltiness. I mean, this is, I would, I'm pretty confident this is an Isla peated whiskey. Um, sometimes you'll, you'll get some different stuff, but uh, I don't get the Heather peat. Um, and then me hitting the particular distillery, I don't think I'm good enough to do that yet. So I'm not, I don't think so. Sometimes we get lucky. Yeah, I would say. Because, I mean, um, you know, when Laphroaig did their last carches, they blew me away and it did not ah. taste like a, a Laphroaig to me. Mm. And, uh, that was the triple wood. Or yeah. the three three, three yeah. wood or triple wood? Which they one really one brought it in. They really brought it in there. It's up there. Triple. I can't read it. Triple wood. I can't remember if they used the three wood or the triple wood. Mm. I think Akintoshin uses three wood and, and Lafroy uses triple wood. This is delicious. This is good. Probably the only thing I would say on my for my peat palate or my fellow peat heads out there is um, I really like the tobacco leaf flavors. And I don't get that here. It's more a touch of the creosote. That's it. A creosote smoke. Little citrus notes now and then. 
score it. I'm gonna nugget, 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 90, 90. Am I two points below you? Nope. I bet you I'm well, above you. I'm still pulling mine up, and I, I don't know yet. I was, I was thinking 92. <laughs> I was. Um, Can't do it. I do. More. Yeah. I really? Think, yeah. Wow. I think okay. I will give it a 92. So yeah, two points ahead of you. Wow. I actually thought you'd be right in line with me. I didn't think you'd be above it. Now I was looking online, and and also I believe this is this was sent to us. This is a distillery only release. I think it's the hundred hundred and ten dollar price range. Oh, it's got hold on, it's got paper around it. That's yeah, crazy. I haven't even taken it off, so I'm gonna do that and look at the bottle. Can I so, pull it? You bet. It's I think it's worth it. Really? <laughs> really? I tricked you. I'm way out. <laughs> That's an American Westland, baby. Westland's Pete with wow. a new edition of their Pete Week. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. That was well, a so John Ingman, thank you, John Ingman. Way to uh, go, John. For it's, sending that it's to It's definitely us. an Isla. I'm confident in an He's, Isla. And he said, he goes, I'm, I want to send you this bottle. Bart will think it's an Isla. Okay. And I can see right. why. Now, I'll tell you, though, when I had that drop of water and I go, oh, That's that brought out a maltiness. You will get, do it again now, you'll get that Westland maltiness. I didn't get it before the water, and it was on mid-palate to finish after I swallowed where, the, where wow. it came out. Take it out of the paper, though. Let's look at it. So I'm I not sure what like they, the paper. I know. I, I didn't want to remove it. I it's know. nice. I don't want to remove <laughs> it from the paper. They've got all this, like, um, traveling circus stuff on here. Yeah, I don't want to remove it from the paper. Uh, you know, and he told me that. John said, oh, Bart, do this blind. Bart will think it's an Isla. Well, you're right. And I was like, oh, let's see. But I, I opened it, I think it was just last night or the night before, and I was like, oh, that my God. That is good. What is this Definitely. going for? It's 100, 100. It's, okay. I believe this is distillery only release. Um, 100, $110 by looking online, I think. <laughs> Definitely worth it. If you are in the area of Westland... Um, that's that's surprising. Look at this. There. Pete Week. A week of reek. Yeah, a week of well, reek. Okay. It's got a tiger on it, presented by Westland Distillery. So that brings up as well, oh. though. Oh, that's just the... That's just the... I kept that on because I kind of liked it. Yes. The, just the yep. tin cover. Yep. yep. Wow. Rapper. Well, well. Wow, Westland, you nailed me. I'm like, I'm confident. Do you think you get, do you get the Westland uh, maltiness? You know, going I, out I would say I'm still not. I'm still not. Um, I was sure this was an island. Now, I did trick you, though, too, because in our lineup and as we're recording, mm. you may have thought mm. we were recording for Saturday. Mm. Did you? Was that playing a factor? Or were you going? No, I mean, I definitely would just, well, the way we film is we'll film... A, a, a bourbon, scotch, usually bourbon, bourbon scotch, or it's something. a it's a North American release, and then we do a world whiskey. Um, I'll be honest with you, it didn't factor in. As soon as I yeah. nosed it mm -hmm. and tasted it, I was like, "This is an Isla." Yeah. So, I agree, um, yep. and that's what I thought when I sat down and tasted it. Even I was like, "It really is." Now on the on the nose, even I was getting the peat more than you. The peat is definitely coming through on the palate. It's in the forefront. Um, I did some beautiful stuff here. That's amazing. These guys are <laughs> killing it. We did have um, last year's uh, Pete Week. And it was okay. I don't okay. remember it being anything Slight, like no, this. Uh, no, yeah. it was only slightly. Yeah, this did is. More uh, ex bourbon cask influence. Yeah, so two things. One, Stunner, good job, got me. I would have swore, I would have made a bet it was an eyelid. Second of all, I like the paper. I don't want to rip the paper off. I don't even want to. I'm curious what the bottle looks like, but this paper is great. Oh, okay. Here's the information right here. So okay. you don't have to take the paper off. Got it. Um, he says, you should have the bottle in next week. Bet you Bart thinks it's an art bag. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's where you first started going. Um, this is the annual. P Here's some details you may want to release on the show. So good thing I found the email. I should have done this beforehand. Uh, annual Pete Week release. They own the trademark. That's why Balvenie had to change to the Week of Pete. 
If you look at the uh, the 2002, the 2003 vintage yes. Balvenies, it's the Pete Week. Yes. Uh, because Westland was using it first, they had the rights. Balvenie had to go to the Week of Pete then. Wow. Which is what they use now. Pete Week is better. Uh, oh, and this is aged in only French barrel. Uh, aged in only French barrel Westland owns. Retails for approximately $100. Hmm. Um, I don't see the ABV. I'm looking for the ABV here on what he sent. And I don't want to remove, like, I'm like, I'm with you. I don't want to remove the paper. I know. Because I, I love like it paper. wrapped. I like it. In there. You can probably get it back on there. Hmm. It's the sixth, the sixth annual noise. release. Just let it, uh, again, if you know the ABV, put it in the comments. Help okay, well, here, here's out. a little bit more. So um, it's 50 months old or four years and two months. Mm. Uh, there's only 590 bottles of it. Barley type is Baird's, heavily peated. And a new French oak puncheon was what it was aged in, cast type. And fermentation time for the Belgian Saison Brewers yeast was 144 hours. So that's phenomenal. If they kept doing stuff like that, yeah, that is holy moly, that is good. That's really good. That is excellent, excellent. <laughs> and again, I'm digging it. Um, as soon as I saw the paper at first, I was like. Hmm? Compass box doing something? I was like, this seems like something they would do. Like, we put it in a paper. I was like, wow, big Ooh. old sticker on it. Nice sugar. Nice, it's really, no, really some of the nice. sweetness is really starting to come out now. Um, peat still up front, maltiness, sweetness, citrus, fruits, sugars. It's nice. I like it. Uh, I stick with my 92. I'll stick with the 90. Now, knowing it's from them, though, it makes me want to give them like a bonus triple star because it's American single malt, baby. And I dig it that they can make it taste like that. Wow. I need to quit saying I peg it as an Isla. Scotch it, you Scotch guy. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.